several years ago, uh, after I completed the build of the Dutch chest, I wanted to make another suitcase style tool chest or toolbox for the storage of specialty planes. Uh, things like spoke shave, the router plane, bull nose plane, rabbit plane, and some other planes uh, that were uh, unique uses but did not need to be in the Dutch chest out in the garage uh, at the same time uh, if they weren't going to be used. And so I built this suitcase style tool chest. The reverse side of the uh, toolbox features a painting I did of a section of the H.O. Studley uh, tool chest that many of you are familiar with. Uh, this area is actually in the lower left uh, section of that larger tool chest. This box uh, was made of several different woods. Uh, it's primarily pieces of pine. Uh, there's a piece of poplar thrown in. And then the top and bottom are actually uh, birch plywood. Um, now, I should note, when you make something like this, traditionally, you're supposed to make a box and then run it through a bandsaw or a saw and split it in two. I didn't do that, and I didn't do that on purpose. What I had was pieces of wood that were exactly the correct size to make two halves that were then joined, you know, connected together and then joined together with a hinge. And so um, typically this is not what they advise to make two different sides because you may end up with one bigger than the other or they don't match. But for me, it worked. I had the right pieces and I just made it happen. On the top, we have a handle for carrying. Uh, this is a gate accessory that I bought from a big box store. Uh, and then we have two suitcase openers, fasteners, clasp type things. Open them up. On the top side, we have room for five spoke shaves. I have three in there right now, so I have room to grow. I uh, have a Stanley and then two antiques, one metal and one wood. Back here, I've got some of the instructional material manuals for some of the tools inside. It's a great place to keep it. Over on the side, right here, I have the fence for the rabbit plane. And here is the uh, accessory fence you can purchase for a Veritas router plane. And I bought that when I bought the router plane. Inside the bottom section, and the best way to show this is vertically like this, uh, we have uh, five planes, specialty planes, held in uh, specifically to house them. Uh, this smaller plane is actually kept up here, but it couldn't be held upside down. But it's normally held in place with a swinging gate piece of wood. Um, I have a shoulder, uh, bull nose shoulder plane. There's actually room right here for an additional plane. Uh, for me, it would be a shoulder plane because I don't have one. But if I get something better, I'll put that there as well. Uh, here is the router, the Veritas router. It's actually held in place with um, butterfly screws, uh, butterfly nuts. Butterfly nuts uh, that are then, uh, there are two screws uh, that fit through wood board beneath it uh, that holds that in place. Here's another look at that uh, piece of wood that's been cut and two screws in it. Uh, and I'll show a close up of that as well. Additionally, I have a uh, there's a Stanley uh, rabbit plane, bull nose rabbit plane. has the place for the bull nose up here as well as the standard this blade can move to the front, as most of you already know. Um, this is a smaller router plane. Uh, it is held in place with two uh, rare earth magnets, uh, which is nice. Uh, it keeps it also from moving around inside of the piece. final feature of this is this little box down here. 
and I kind of made a sort of an interesting way of holding it in place. I could have locked it in, I could have screwed it in, but I decided instead to do this sort of pin through a notch uh, with a gate kind of arrangement. Uh, and it comes out. It's a nice little box. Uh, I actually built this before I built the bigger piece. Uh, and what this is, is a little box inside. These are the accessories for the uh, Stanley uh, rabbit plane and the Veritas router plane. Uh, and so there are extra blades, screws, nuts, fence pieces, um, depth planes, uh, the little uh, wrenches that you need to adjust things, all in here in nice little uh, compartments, dividers. Uh, and this is a great way for me to keep everything together, keep it with the tools that they're kept with. Uh, and again, this whole thing can be uh, taken in and out of the garage as necessary. And it's been uh, very helpful for me. And that is my specialty plane toolbox.